Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the third episode of the second season of Mob Psycho 100. Now, last episode, what happened? Scary stuff. That's what happened. We There was even this like lady that dragged people into the water. And uh, there's also an old lady, although she wasn't actually a, a ghost, but that didn't make her any less scary. Just to ask, ask little traumatized mob over there who got outran by an old lady despite joining the Body Improvement Club. It's pretty, pretty disheartening stuff. But yeah, I also met a new psychic. He was pretty cool. I I guess he was alright. And uh yeah. Let's get to this episode. Three, two, one, play. Google. Oh yeah, he was gonna make one, wasn't he? I can't read all that, but I get the idea. Our film weirdos. Well, that's a little bit ominous. So clearly something's gonna happen in the episode. It's just a matter of what that might be. It's so weird seeing the face just come off Mr. Potato Head style. We haven't really gotten the whole psychic on psychic battles yet with this season, so I hope that we do. We've been fighting ghosts and stuff, but. Okay. One danger after another degeneration. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, that's not a very nice offer. <laughs> Request, rather. That's probably illegal. <laughs> yeah, we didn't promise we would do curses. We get massages, you want one of those? You look like you could need one. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> See, I hate you. <laughs> no Roy, yeah, I I'm one more would you need. <laughs> uh, basically, it's a go away talisman. <laughs> well, that'd be a lot more convincing if you didn't need somebody's help to do a curse in the first place. Because that's proof that you can't curse people. Or you would have done it to him. Uh, I don't know. The old student council president? I forget his name, Shinji, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Mom doesn't really hate people. You know, I didn't think so until you just said that, and now I think something bad will happen from that. Yeah. We kind of brought up that concept with the uh, last episode, with the urban legends and all that. The power of the mind to make things real. Yeah, is this the real mob? But he is trying to get a clue, so.
Well, set on end. Uh, inhuman stalkers are the worst. There we go. Uh, how did you, how do you stare through that window? Yeah, that would be impressive. Yeah, see if there's any, like, stuff. You have nothing better to do with your time. Just do it. <laughs> that poor scared woman. <laughs> You're a ghost. Can't you go through the window? Well... I know, right? I was about to comment on that. Uh, earthquake? I guess it could be that too. Well, I'm sure Mob could handle whatever this is. Oh, good! Look behind. That's clearly a ghost of some sort. Did you mean melt it? Is it? I don't... I guess it could be a psychic, I suppose. If that's what he's trying to say. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Do we have to go over here? Wow, those subs are tiny. <laughs> So we were right about it being a human stalker, okay. <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, this guy's a real piece of work. Uh, she's not wrong. Well, there goes that problem. That was a little bit scary. <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. Well... Okay. Who are you people? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, clearly. Yeah, as long as they give us money, what's what does it matter? Not quite the customers you were hoping for. Something like that. Uh, I do not like these new people. I I don't. I kind of hope they get eaten by spirit. Uh, just stop. I gotta give the subs props for trying to get across the obnoxious way they're talking, but I got it. I got it without the subs having to convey that. Uh. 
<sighs> no. Can't you do anything? Now, how about you don't forget the flash? Can we can we go home now? Are you guys idiots? You're paying for his time, you moron. <laughs> Uh, maybe the website wasn't a good idea. Or rather, we should get paid up front. I'm surprised he doesn't already do it that way. <laughs> okay. I guess we see how they got home. Yeah, those three were extremely scummy. The cancer of the world, basically. But anyway. We're just meeting all sorts of great people this episode, aren't we? Why, is it for you to get chin reduction surgery? Did Dimple do something there, or...? Those poor birds. Uh, uh. Yeah, that was clearly Dimple's work. Really? After all that, you still want to try? Round two. I mean, we gotta keep going until he learns his lesson. Okay, Ritsu this time. I was wondering if it was Deadpool again, but that did that was a little bit different, so. Yeah, he's not gonna let you mess with his brother, so. Do you want to continue this? Do you? <laughs> uh... Here we go. <laughs> uh, that's not fighting, that's just squishing. Uh, hopefully he learned some lesson from that, but it doesn't seem like the type to learn from his mistakes. Seems like an idiot. Yeah, do that. Well, you're not always together, you know. Yeah, tell him. It's okay to use your powers for self-defense, it really is. Just don't overdo it. No. <laughs> I would not let you in my building again. First of all, if I was going to help you, you had to pay for the old job and the new job. I have friends. And offer me an apology. It's just a child. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> well, you better pay then. Oof. It's so dark, and I have a slight glare on my screen, so. I 
I mean, the ghosts clearly look like mobs, so, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Huh. Please don't exercise me. I don't see that as a good argument to not be exercised. Okay, that is a good argument. Okay, fine. You can stay, I guess. Such a creepy voice, though. Of course not. Well, Mob, you have a choice to make. That's not a good argument to exercise them. What if they do something bad at some point? That's not how the law works. <laughs> yeah, but we just established they're probably not evil. It's not like anybody else can do it, so... If Mob says no, it's no. You know what? Screw you. Nobody cares how you feel. You don't need it. You just want some peace of mind. Which isn't really worth ruining somebody else's life. I'm glad you acknowledge that. Is... Is Dimple's gonna eat them? Okay, I get it. Whether or not he does that would prove on whether or not he's a... Uh, a problem, a threat. No. I guess we're not. I didn't think so. Yeah, I couldn't exercise them. I definitely couldn't. Well, the world's a big place. I'm sure you could find somewhere else. I don't buy that. So what do we do? Uh, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> that's some good use of salt right there. Ha <laughs> ha.
Yeah, you don't argue with Ray again. It really is. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, they're quite clearly not evil spirits. That bound me that obvious. A curse? Ugh. <laughs> I would I wanna deal with that. <laughs> the good points. The cool looking curse, I like the animation on it. I did not consider that. Uh <laughs> that was a little bit gross. Like he's sucking a... Bath time? Bath time. Whenever I see Mob in the bath, I think One Punch Man. That would be a bit scary. You are a powerful kid, Mob. You can do a lot of harm. Would anybody have the guts to? Sixty-seven percent. Okay. That was an interesting episode. I will definitely talk about my thoughts on it after the ED finishes. <sighs> Those are a lot of stuffed animals. Okay. Well, that was the uh, second episode of the... No, that was the third episode. The third episode of the second season of Mob Psycho 100. So, this episode. You know, this episode... It was, you know, a big thing was the website because last episode, Regan found out, hey, I 
websites. That would probably be a good idea. <laughs> so we made one, and this episode we got to see the fruit of that. But a website means we get people from the internet, and as we all know, people from the internet are horrible people. So, you know, it, it didn't make sense. Our first job was, I think the first one was the guy that wanted a curse, right? I think, yeah, he wanted to be bring in a curse somebody, he didn't really want to do it, so he kind of just like wrote him a quick slip. Hey, here, curse, yeah, okay, go away, bye-bye, and all that. But uh, the, the, the first real, the first real one was that he got a request from a girl that apparently was... I apologize if you hear any of that. I'm not just yelling. Anyway, the first request from a girl that believed she was being stalked by a human at first, but eventually she was like, okay, I don't think this is a human. I think, because it's just like, we're really high up, and he's like right outside my window, so that's probably not a human. So figured it was a ghost, and then called the Ghostbuster to come over to deal with it. So uh, she had the window actually like cardboarded up, so, you know, that kind of saw the I kind of saw the problem, really. So, you know, I don't know why they needed help beyond that. But we took that down. We had Dimple look outside because who better than the one that can fly? Didn't really see anything of note at first, but then we saw him pop up in the window, scare the woman, and then they saw that go. I was like, whoa, that's pretty bad. But we realized that wasn't a ghost. That was not a ghost. What it actually was, was a neighbor, like very close neighbor, using astral projection in order to look at the through the window and pretty much stalk this woman. And we figured that out pretty quickly because obviously we got mob on our side, so you can figure this stuff out. So we went over, you know, to talk to the guy, and he did not seem all that apologetic, you know, about what he had done. Didn't really seem to have much in the way of remorse, so I had pretty much no sympathy for him, you know. I can somewhat understand using astral projection for nefarious things, you know, but uh, when you get caught, you should not just, you shouldn't behave that way. You know, threatening to call the cops on them, despite the fact that he is clearly in the wrong in the situation. That's what really bothered me. If it wasn't for that, I would have had a bit more sympathy for the guy, but nah, just screw him, man. He just, he was a bad person. It's really what it comes down to. I don't, I'm not saying the woman was a great person. She didn't really seem like one either, but she wasn't breaking any law, so, you know, she, she she's fine, whatever. You know, but uh, that was the first real big thing of the episode. We also had these three guys that came over wanting to do some stupid, you know, normie test of courage type thing. I don't even know what you'd call it, but they were very obnoxious people as well. So continuing the trend of having very, having very just the scum of the earth, you know, being a part of the episode. Because that was a the theme throughout the entire episode. You know, we did that whole thing and then we had the bullies come up to mob to mess with him. And despite the fact that Dimple, you know, tried to counterattack against the guy he still still kept at it and then you had the he didn't have to try it again which then Ritsu took care of and the guy was still wasn't done yet until we had the guy just literally get surrounded and just yeah he was just a real piece of work and I was very curious exactly why we kept having so many just bad people show up in the episode so many scummy people I wasn't sure at first but you know but once we got to the real meat of the episode it made sense because the whole point of this episode was Mob's mentality. Not Mob mentality, Mob the character's mentality. Because we talked about how he how he sees the world differently than everyone else because he sees spirits, you know. They're as normal people to him as regular human as regular human beings. Oh my god. Anyway, so once he, we, that's why I had to contrast the bad people with the good spirits to show that that's not black and white. It's not just these poor innocent humans being attacked by ghosty ghosts and they have to be defended by a superhero mob. It tried to get across that it's not that simple, that there are bad people just like there are good spirits. Mob has to be a little bit selective. He has to like think about it. He can't just mindlessly be a tool for Reagan to like. Okay, kill that thing. Got it. Boom. Okay, mission complete. Like, Mob is starting to have more feelings, be more expressive with them. Think, think about those feelings and really be able to make his own decisions. Like, he's asking questions. Like, Mob's... In, Mob's, uh... Uh, not mental. Uh, maybe mental. Mental growth, I guess. Yeah, that's, that, that was a big thing with the episode. So that's definitely good to see, you know, Mob. People have commented on how he's lack of emotions in the past, you know, telling him he needs to get a clue, and he's definitely making progress towards that. He realizes that he could be the ultimate villain or the ultimate hero, depending on the, the decisions that he makes. So he needs to really 
think about what he does before he does it. And thinking about making a wrong decision can really just scare him. Like, he was shaking a lot because of that. I mean, I'm glad that Reagan was able to really, like, see what was happening here and be a good role model, a good mentor. Because, you know, Reagan's cool. He's not going to make Mom do anything bad. But anyway, I'm going to end this off here because I'm starting to get really frustrated about the obnoxious people in the background. So, good episode, though. Very good episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.